Good morning all, it's the 24th of January. Can't believe this month's already over. There's a couple that I ever met with that are being displaced by Foxconn. This goes back to probably early summer I met with them when they were first notified that this was gonna be happening. A gentleman called me up and told me what was going on and so he wanted to get together to see how much it would be to rebuild the the home that he lives in that he built 12 years ago they loved everything about it they never planned on moving they're you know they're in their uh, their 70s so I met with him earlier this summer gave him numbers and I've been keeping in touch with them off and on trying to you know help them find a lot uh, repricing the home to build on either raw land or a subdivision lot and he called me over the weekend and said he wanted to get together on uh, Tuesday which was yesterday and we got together he wants to move ahead and purchase one of the lots that I own we actually myself my dad and uh, Jim the other owner of Joseph Scott Homes purchased a small subdivision back when all of the all right we're here at the Orchard Estate subdivision in Mount Pleasant Wisconsin this is a neighborhood that we Joseph Scott Homes acquired a couple months ago we've built a number of model home and spec homes in the neighborhood we've got I believe nine remaining lots that are left here and we've got some interest in them some people have been calling the last week trying to get information on the lots we'll probably be putting another model home in here as well so we'll be back on this site uh, to keep you posted and show you what's going on the intent on you know land was gonna be getting grabbed up which it has been it still is and this was a neighborhood that we were building model homes and spec homes in and wanted to continue doing that. So um, as of today, we've got three out of the 11 lots sold. So met with him yesterday. We're gonna move full speed ahead with him. Got 12 houses already slated to dig for 2018. It looks like it's gonna be a, a good and busy year. We're probably gonna try and go for 26 to, to 30 builds this year. I got a back hole to my left and a back hole to my right. The one behind me here is gonna be back filling this foundation. And then the one over here to my left, they're gonna be digging that one tomorrow or Monday. And then as far as real estate transactions go, had another meeting yesterday with a client that is gonna be building with us, but she also needs to sell her home and find a property. Started working together initially, she expressed that she needed to find a lot. So. Myself as a real estate agent can help her find a property, write an offer on that property, and then of course get paid the coal broke that's offered on that property. The other aspect of it is selling her home. So I have a full-time real estate agent, April. I'll procure this, you know, the, the, the client that's gonna be building the home and let them know that we can sell their house and all of the benefits that would go along with us doing it and then I pretty much let April take it over from there. So we'll end up getting a home build, um, a listing and then the lot purchase. Today I've got a meeting with Kevin, our home flipper. You know, one thing I like about Joseph Scott, how do you guys always find the diamonds in the rough? <laughs> <laughs> let's hope that. <laughs> let's see. All right, well, let's see. I was just gonna do that. <laughs> I stole my, your line. Don't steal my that. thunder, man. Here, because remember we just saw the insulation on the other side. So this, to me, it's like a solid, probably like half. Half piece of thing. wood. Yeah. Then they did the insulation. Yeah. And then they put the, the wood siding. Yeah. Yeah. It interests me why they rip it down so much. He's gonna be done with his current flip home in five weeks, which we'll be listing for him. Gotta hit up the gas station here, and I'll be back with you later. 